Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Harim Jaffer. Today I will present a clinical case of uh, replacing a failed implant uh, and also placing a bone graft with platelet rich fibrin or PRF starting with the incision by doing the vertical incision then the horizontal incision or intracellular incision or reverse bevel incision this is the as you see it here this is the failed implant it's quite movable and there is a bone loss around the implant uh, the, the purpose of failing is uh, uh, was that uh, uh, there uh, Previously, there, were, uh, there was a thin plate of uh, buccal plates. Uh, so they put the implant without restoring the lost bone and soft tissue. So uh, you should know that it will end failing. So we are just reflect the flap, and the flap uh, should be reflected. Uh, uh, by two techniques this is the area of the defect as you see it uh, one of them is full thickness flap four to five millimeter then you should do a partial thickness flap as you see it here we will release the muscles to create a space for the bone graft and the soft tissue uh, or the PRF uh, to be covered while we are placing again the implant on the surface of the bone because without creating uh, this release when you put a, a bone graft and a soft tissue or even if it is autogenous or uh, xenograft uh, you will end up with tearing or just too much tension on the flap because the flap uh, can't uh, if, if you just uh, release the flap for full thickness you can't cover the any excess bone or soft tissue but if you release it uh, making the graft uh, making the flap some of it uh, full thickness and the other partial thickness uh, with the muscle release so in these cases you can cover the the excess materials that you are putting on the surface so we remove the granulation tissue with the excavator surgical excavator and we used uh, uh, irrigation with the surge this is the PRF we just took uh, 10 ml of the patient's blood centrifuge it then uh, we press in the the metal pack uh, to drain the plasma and uh, remain the PRF membranes uh, we are using the plasma with the bone and the PRFs over the bone now we are using uh, a surgical we are doing the surgical procedure by placing the implant we are doing the drilling there is a thin plate of buccal cortical bone so we try to avoid the cortical bone and slightly go in uh, palatally uh, even we if we restore the buccal plate uh, we slightly ro rotate the surgical handpiece palatally within the scope this is the surgical procedure and uh, we are unpacking the implant here the fixture 
uh, it's better not to be touched by your hands just uh, uncover the fixture and place it or hold it with the uh, with the fixture placement bears uh, and go under the uh, until the primary retention will be achieved so we check the stability and uh, we are putting the cover screw on top of the implant we are using the bone graft in this area so as not to trap into the uh, into a space inside the implant fixture and when we uncover the the uh, the metal cover we will see that we have a membrane here separated from the plasma and we just uh, separate the plasma with a syringe or, or put it in the syringe and mix it with the bone to get or uh, to get a more sticky bone and enhance the regeneration because it's a patient's own plasma here we are putting uh, the bone graft Around the buccal plate, we just uh, put it uh, small holes or with a round, a large round burrs on the walls of the buccal plate to get uh, our retention of the bones that we are putting. Then after that, after placing and molding the bone graft, and placing a sufficient amount of bone graft, then we are going to use the membranes. Sometimes you, according to the patients, you get a different thickness of membrane. those uh, who have anticoagulant take or taking anticoagulant uh, drugs or there are problems with the with the blood with their bloods uh, you need a more time centrifugation to get your membrane and we should fully cover the bone graft And uh, the previously prepared flap to be able to cover the uh, these amounts of of bone graft and membranes, we should put it back to its position, and by that. We did the uh, switching and we will wait for the end results. Hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching my videos.